All right, what's up guys? So today let's talk about night vision, just like most days. But let's talk specifically about these little guys, right? These caps that I have on here. These are called the Mapbox Tarsiers. Now the Mapbox Tarsiers are um, relatively expensive for what they are, but they're really well engineered and do exactly what they say they're gonna do. Now what they are are infinite focus caps that you can attach to the front of almost any goggle that they sell them for. You can look on their website and see the listing of uh, the amount of goggles they have. But one of the cool things about them, not only do they look cool, right? Like they have that cool iris, um, which I'll try and get a close up of, but they, they have a few functions that I think are really cool and have uh, other uses that I think that people would, would find interesting. But one of the, one of the things that I find that they, uh, or let's talk about what they do, right? So the, the actual cap is just a friction fit, so it can pop off um, and it's rubberized around the uh, rim that hooks onto the front of your objective lens. So it's not like a, it's not anything that's permanent or, or you can move it from goggle to goggle. You can use it for certain things, take it off, put it on, whatever you want. Um, but the way I usually utilize it uh, is as a daytime cap currently, right? So it sits there all the time. It's a daytime cap. It also has a little sacrificial lens in there, which is really useful for the guys like me that are doing force on force or that are teaching certain things that may cause uh, debris to be thrown at you. <laughs> you want to protect your night vision, right? So this is a way of doing so. The uh, Tasar uh, or Tasier, Tarsier, Tarsier uh, Eclipse uh, caps are going to also add something to it that your night vision doesn't do, and that is give you an infinite focus. This can be useful in so many ways, but uh, one of the ways, or what I mean by infinite focus is that when it's closed up in its smallest little iris, which let me double check, smallest little iris, it gives you what looks like your daytime caps being on your night vision, which is almost a full focus of everything around you. You don't have to focus to a specific distance. If you didn't know night vision, you have to focus it to a specific distance. It's not like, um, uh, it's not like your eyes where they automatically focus towards whatever plane of distance that you're looking at. These have to be focused to a specific distance so that you can get as much information as possible. So if I focus them as far as possible or, or to infinity, um, I cannot see the details in my hand. I can see my hand, right? It can, I know it's my fucking hand, but one of the things that it won't do is give me like details. It won't give me all the little little wrinkles or, or little lines in my hands and stuff. It's not gonna give me that kind of detail. When I put the infinite focus all the way in, I can get that fine detail. I can also start moving it out. Well, one of the downsides to having it at that level is the, the amount of light coming into your night vision is very minimal. So it's gonna need more light. So you have to use some artificial lighting to, to help you see with those. Or you can go ahead and start to open it up a little bit, right? So you open it, open it up a little bit more and you can get more light in, also keeping relatively close uh, infinite focus, which will give me focus from near to far. If I open it even more, I'm getting further and further to the natural function of my ocular lens. I'm sorry, my objective lens. So that means that I'm gonna eventually, when I get it all the way open like it is now, it's gonna function just like my normal goggles function where I'd have to use the actual um, focus on the objective lens to give me what I need versus using this little uh, uh, cap. So. What they did was create this for specifically for dudes that are going to be doing things up close a lot. So let's say I'm I'm putting charges on a door, I'm going to breach something, or maybe I'm a mechanical breacher and I need to get that that Huli tool in where I need it to be, or maybe you're the driver, right, for like a, a Bearcat or an MRAP or something like that, and you need to see the control panels or you need to look at the control panel really quick. Different things like that that they can be used for. Not something you can't do with regular night vision or without these caps, because you can just focus just as quickly. And if you set your focus stops, right, your, your stop rings 
to your infinite focus or your far focus, you can easily dial back and forth and get really good at it. That's how most of us have done it for the years and years that we've been using night vision. So if you if you don't know how to do that, or let's say you're just issued a bunch of shit and you can't adjust these, well, maybe these are gonna be a good choice for you. The other thing is the little uh, Tasar, or Tasi, Tarsier, Tarsier, I uh, can never say the name. <laughs> that they do um, what what some people like to do also where they do a near far focus. So there are techniques to, to the way that you use your focus rings and the way that you fo focus at different distances and uh, some guys use them that way. And the other benefit to them is uh, if you are using them for like surreptitious searches through homes or quiet uh, no knock searches, you can do so by keeping them at infinite focus and using artificial light to see all the little detail around the rooms that you're working in. So there's a lot of uses for them. Uh, personally, I don't find a lot of them for me because I'm not doing a lot of that stuff anymore. So I, I see them as something for me to check out, play with, see if they find a purpose for them for the guys that I teach or consult for. And for breachers and for most assaulters, I think this would be awesome, drivers as well. So if this is something that kind of interests you, definitely look at it. Uh, personally, like they don't find a real, or I don't find a real big use for them uh, for myself because I just use my focus like I normally do. But if it is something that interests you and you're like, man, I need that, cool. Glad it helps. Go check out Matt Bach and their, their uh, website. But uh, they, they are pretty sweet. They're cool looking as hell. <laughs> But uh, I was very interested in them, although they are very expensive for what they are. Um, but the little iris in there is definitely like it's made by a camera company for them. It's super, super precise. It's smooth. It's not like, eh, 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 you know, janky when you turn it. So there's a lot of a lot of precision done into these little little guys so that they can do exactly what you want them to do every time. And, uh, and not only that, but they add a sacrificial lens to my system to protect me from impacts of, of little objects or stuff like that. So hope this helps you guys kind of understand the little Matt Bach uh, Tarsier Eclipse. And uh, hopefully I'm saying this all right, but we'll see. And uh, and once again, like this isn't something that they, they kind of sent me or anything. Like they don't even know I exist. Uh, this was something I was interested in for my consulting side uh, to see if this would be a product that may help dudes that I teach. So. Hope this helps, guys. Let me know in the comments. Tonight my theme is home.